To become an Olympic boxer, you have to be part of the GB boxing squad, where you'll have to go to tournaments and competition and try and qualify for the Olympic Games. Uh, there are two ways of getting into the GB boxing squad, performance at international competition and also being nominated by your national federation. been my aim for a while to get into the GB squad um, as I knew it would give me a chance to go to the Olympics obviously um, and it was fantastic to win a bronze at the Worlds to know it got me a place in the GB squad was amazing as well um, and to be here now it's just brilliant um, everything's got all the uh, we've got everything here all the facilities so that's good um, it's got a success record of itself so um, with the coaches that are here and obviously all the competitions you get to go to um, set me on pretty nicely. The second route of getting into the GB boxing squad is by assessment, having been nominated by a national federation. To secure an assessment you either need to have won a medal at a major international event or have been nominated by your national governing body. So I got nominated through Welsh Boxing. I'd previously gone to the Commonwealth Games in 2014, won a bronze medal, and then in 2016 won a European bronze medal as well. I attended three assessment camps with a bunch of other women, and out of seven of us, I was the only one off the place. The impact on my career has, has been massive, you know, since joining the programme, going from, you know, training with my club, you know, weeknights after finishing work or whatever, to, you know, becoming a full-time athlete. And, Getting trained by one of the, you know, the best coaches in the world, the best program. We've got everything here from nutrition, video analysis, S and C, um, world class coaches. You know, so I just improved massively. My biggest achievement got to be, you know, winning Olympic gold medal. It was a dream of mine since I was eight years of age. So yeah, to achieve that, I still got to pinch myself sometimes. But it just goes to show, you know, if you've got dreams and you work hard enough, you can achieve anything. Boxers that get nominated for an assessment will come to one or two camps at the GB Boxing Gym where the coaches will have a good look at them. The camps usually take place over weekends so we can spend some time with the boxers and see how they perform over a range of sessions. It's a mix of competitive sparring, strength, fitness, boxing technique which allows us to get an oval picture of them and the potential to be an elite boxer. The characteristics we look for are robustness, um, receptiveness, and um, you know, technically sound boxers. When a boxer's not successful uh, first time, we give them uh, things to go away and work on, and, and, and they come back again. They, the door's always open for them to come back again on, on separate occasions. Anthony Gogo left the program for a very short period of time. He went away, worked on what he had to work on, came back onto the program, wanted to achieve a bronze medal at 2012. Being part of the GB Boxer squad has been brilliant for me. Um, I've been able to train full time, not worry about working, just my full concentration on boxing, training, working with the best coach in the world, and just bringing their medals back. I would say to any young boxer looking to get into the GB Boxing squad, is you have to box for GB. It's the best thing for an amateur boxer. You know, I've been through the whole process. You know, for Olympics, from national level to Olympic level. I think boxing for Great Britain is the best thing that you can that you can do as an amateur boxer.